Welcome to this Tech Tip Tuesday video. My name is Naomi and I am one of the M1 trainers here at ECI Solutions. Today's video we're going to have a look at one of the features within the scheduling board. So let's have a look at that now. Over on the scheduling board you can see I've loaded in a couple of uh, work centres here. We've got our assembly work centre and we've got our bench machining. So you can also see over the right hand side here that on the calendar and on the board we've got a flag that says today in red and you can see that that says yes this is today well that's correct it is the 31st of January. So what we're going to do is say well that's great that we're looking at today but why are we looking at all of this month in the past when what we want to do is schedule in the future. So let's have a look at changing this information. Now if we've got a long schedule we might have a scroll bar at the bottom to move to the right. In my case, I'm only looking at a short schedule. So what I'm going to do is change the start date of this display. Over on the left in the ribbon, there is a start date field. I'm going to click on the calendar drop down and I'm going to select today's date. So we're clicking on today's date and we're now going to refresh the data. So I'm going to click refresh and it moves my display automatically over to start on the 31st. So some of our customers wonder what the reload is versus the refresh. The reload gives you fresh data from jobs that are in M1 and refresh changes what is being displayed. So the refresh button is going to help you when you're changing the display dates. I hope you found that helpful. And I look forward to you joining us for our next Tech Tip Tuesday video. Thank you.